welcome back. Um, we are 12 days postpartum. Little E is sleeping. I just wanted to get on here and share like my top five postpartum must-haves. Um, we made it through two nights, just me and E. Daddy had some tattoos he had to go do, so she's been a little angel. Um, very, very lucky. I was worried about having two nights alone with her, but these postpartum must-haves definitely have gotten me through the first 12 days, um, and I highly recommend them. Uh, the first I'll start with is the Freedom Mom Disposable Postpartum Underwear. So I tried to purchase underwear here in Thailand. I only wear thongs, but obviously I needed something more supportive postpartum. And I made a purchase, largest size doesn't fit. So I have bought these and a lot of the other Frida um, vaginal delivery care products, um, but with how E was delivered C-section, I ended up not needing a lot of those. But these Freedom Mom postpartum underwear, let me show you what they look like. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. I've been just wearing them as underwear. They're super, super stretchy. They are disposable, but they're really soft. Like, look at that stretch. That is huge. Um, a lot of tummy support. It doesn't snag or irritate my incision or anything like that. Um, so when I first bought this, I had a pair of four. So in the hospital, during recovery, I ended up ordering two more boxes of eight count off Amazon and had that shipped here to Thailand. So it was really expensive. I want to say it was like $80 because of like import fees and everything. Um, but these are definitely a must have. Even if I did have panties that fit, I still think I probably would wear these because they're super light, stretchy, breathable, and they're just really, really comfortable. So I've been wearing those kind of as shorts. They are boys short style. So that is my first. Um, the other thing I want to share is the Mom Cozy S5. So any kind of wearable breast pump is really has really gotten me through the first few days because I have an oversupply of milk and she'll feed one side, I'll pump the other side at the same time and then we switch through feeds. Um, but having this just inside my bra while she's feeding on the other side is super, super convenient and it really helps with everything, um, just getting her feeding done and pumping done at the same time. Um, so that's been really helpful. So any kind of wearable breast pump. Um, I can do another video on the Mom Cozy S5 and kind of share details and what I feel or how I feel about it. If you guys want, just comment below. Um, with breastfeeding and pumping, definitely this nipple cream has been a lifesaver. I was putting this on after every single feeding um, because I was really, really sore and we've actually gone through the whole tube. I had to place an order again um, online and because it's like an American brand, it was really, really expensive to have it sent here, um, but I was able to get it. Um, it was delivered, so I bought two more tubes of it just to have on, on hand. Um, but we're getting a little bit better, a little less sore, but sometimes the beginning of her latch is really painful because she goes about two, sometimes three hours without feeding, so she wakes up very, very hungry. Um, but yes, nipple cream is definitely another must-have. And the Silverettes, don't know if I said that correct, but these have also really, really helped as well. Um, you just stick them in the freezer and basically put them on your nipples after feeding. Um, I was wearing one like the whole day on my right side because we were really sore um, one day, but these definitely help, especially when you've got like the, it, you have like, the, like your letdown. So you've got a little bit of milk in there, you have your nipple cream and it's cold. So it kind of soothes your whole nipple area. So these have been really, really great. And putting them in the freezer makes them extra cold and cooling. So these are nice. They're really tiny, discreet. Here's the carrying case as well. So these have kind of helped um, repair the sore nipple. And then the other thing are my, what are they called? Bella Baby, <laughs> Bella Baby breast massagers. I didn't realize like one, two, three, four of my five must-haves are related to breastfeeding and pumping, um, but these are really amazing. You basically turn it on like this, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it vibrates. There's different modes. And it also has heating aspect to it as well. So I think this little gadget is what helped my milk come in so soon because we had our C-section and I tried to get a pump in the hospital. They gave me one pump, 
I ended up getting a blister on it because a blister on me because of the design of it. But I kept putting these on routinely with the massage and the heat. And then we discharged home one day. I was breastfeeding one day. My milk came in a couple days later. We've been pumping a lot of colostrum. Now we've been pumping a lot of milk. But I really, really think these are what helped me with this breastfeeding journey with a little roadblock of having that C-section that was unplanned. So those are my five must-haves. Just to recap, it's the Freedom Mom Disposable Postpartum Underwear. These are amazing. Um, any kind of wearable breast pump, I have the Mom Cozy S5. The Silverettes, I have the two-pack. The Lanolin Nipple Cream, this has been really great. And then the Bella Baby Breast Massagers. So those have really helped us get through these past 12 days and just kind of ease into motherhood, especially with the breastfeeding and just the recovery process on my end. But if you have any questions about these products, um, let me know, leave comments below. I will do new newborn must-haves as well. Um, but yes, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.